Hello and welcome to another Electric World video featuring the latest news about EV World. This time, we would be discussing hot updates on building warehouse at Giga Berlin and constructing another Gigafactory east of Austin. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell. It helps you get notified when we post more content just like this. Let's get started. According to Sasha Jim, head of the Older Spree Construction Department, Tesla has obtained official approval to build a warehouse at its Giga Berlin construction site. The new building area is equal to three soccer fields and, if expectations are right, it will eventually be home to a new battery plant. Tesla began excavation work for a new building at Giga Berlin at the end of February, which could be turned into a battery factory in the future. Heavy equipment was spotted on the site where the warehouse would be built, and excavation of a foundation pit began. Tesla submitted a construction application with the Older Spree Construction Authority in late December 2020 to build another big facility on an initial 300 hectares. According to the statement, the premises will be temporarily used for other purposes. According to RBB24, Tesla has now received an official permit for the building's construction, granting the manufacturer the freedom to begin construction. Tesla is yet to comment on its plans for the new facility. However, in mid-January, Tag Spiegel announced that the company would later start manufacturing battery cells in this home. It is expected that later converting the building into a battery manufacturing plant would be difficult, but it is possible. According to its current status, Tesla is not permitted to use the new hall following the building of the car factory next door. Tesla, for instance, is not allowed to store car production parts in this new building. This is because Tesla applied for and obtained approval from the country to build the hall. The car factory, on the other hand, is subject to a much more complex approval process with the State Ministry of the Environment, where the building of the new warehouse was subject to a much easier approval process. Tesla will have to apply for a change of usage in the future to convert the warehouse to a different purpose. Another news is that Tesla is constructing another Gigafactory east of Austin. Tesla had sold out all of their vehicles for the second quarter. This occurred with two months remaining in the quarter, and the refreshed Model S and Model X have yet to be manufactured in large quantities. This suggests that Tesla will need to consider making more cars to satisfy demand. One Gigafactory has already been built in the Austin area. Although the first factory is under construction, it is already operating. Tesla is currently building a second factory on a large amount of land east of Austin, Texas. This project is also in the beginning stages. According to documents, this would be known as the Bobcat Project. The Gigafactory will be situated on the outskirts of Austin, off of Harold Green Road. Tesla is said to have purchased over 2,000 acres for the construction of this plant. However, there are conflicting reports with some claiming Tesla purchased 2,500 acres and some claiming they only purchased 2,100 acres. Musk was able to get a significant tax break to complete all of this. This was just an empty stretch of land. This is beneficial because Tesla would not have to go through too many hoops to have anything built here. This new Gigafactory will be located only a short distance from the airport the Colorado River weaves its way to the site of the current Gigafactory. Tesla is now well on its way to completing the building of this new Gigafactory. Tesla has a large number of new vehicles on the market on the way. Tesla's demand appears to be growing recently. Tesla will reportedly have the main building at this factory, which is currently under construction. As of now, it is unclear when Tesla expects this new Gigafactory will be completed. However, 
when it was first announced last year that Tesla intended to build a second Gigafactory. The plan was for Tesla to complete this structure as soon as possible. This does seem to be a very tight timeline and on top of that, Tesla seems to need the completing of Gigafactory. Elon Musk has confirmed that Texas would be his home. However, given Tesla's rapid growth, it will be important to see where Musk invests his capital. According to Musk, Tesla's strongest long-term market is China. Tesla is also planning to expand its operations into India. There could also be more gigafactories in the United States in the future. There has been chatter in the past about Tesla locating a gigafactory in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Overall, Tesla is attempting to finalize plans for this new location, and we can expect further updates as Tesla gets closer to rolling cars off the assembly line as the new Gigafactory takes shape. The next news is about violating labor laws at Giga Berlin. According to state parliament officials, Tesla was found not to be breaking labor laws at its German Gigafactory, better known as Giga Berlin. Tesla is not violating any labor laws that protect employers and workers from being exposed to unfair practices, according to a meeting on Tuesday in which several members of the parliament spoke about their results at the Giga Berlin site. According to a report published earlier this week by Business Insider, the State Office for Occupational Safety, along with an agency charged with investigating labor law violations, was directed to look into the possibility of workers at the site being overworked in unfair conditions and paying below par wages. More negative reports about Tesla's first European Gigafactory surfaced earlier this week, prompting these claims. According to the German news outlet Automobile Walk, a member of Elon Musk's inner circle admitted that the Giga Berlin factory would not start producing cars until January 2022. Jörg Steinbach, the state's economic minister, refuted these arguments, telling Tesla Rati that he still expects Tesla to start production in late summer or early autumn. During a meeting with the parliament in Grunheim, the municipality where the factory is located, Participants claimed that there were no results or serious deficiencies in Tesla's working conditions. Following visits and investigations this week, members of parliament charged with discussing the results said, So far, we have not obtained any evidence that it may be such unworthy conditions as they have been reported in the press. The overall work situation is great, said one parliament member, Ernst Fragic Pernak, who spoke at great length about the situation. Overall, worker safety is very satisfactory in comparison to other large building sites. Few problems and accidents, he said. According to Pernak, 17 visits to the Giga Berlin property have been made so far in 2021, accounting for about one visit per week. The parliament has expressed no questions, nor has the Construction Trade Association, which also performs weekly inspections with parliament members. Pernak stated, the assessment is that the overall work situation is great and there are still pending investigations with work hours and other matters. The parliament's comments on Tesla's working conditions show that there are no labor laws violations at the German factory. Production and deliveries remain on schedule for late 2021, Tesla said in its Q1 2021 update letter. That was all for today and the latest news we knew about Tesla, and thanks for watching the video. If you want to continue to learn about everything regarding Tesla's next projects and Elon Musk or electric vehicles, we've got two more video options for you on the screen to check out. And don't forget to give a thumbs up on this video if you liked it, and subscribe to our Electric World channel for daily content just like this.